so what do you think what is going to happen with the you know how the ai is coming up in radiology ai i feel uh, it will be humans who will be managing ai and not the ai who will be managing humans so i feel ai is there to help us and not to replace us so what do you think uh, does radiology still maintains that work life balance if you compare yourself with your peers in different branches of medicine and surgery in corporate hospitals yes work life balance it depends aapke paas 2 ghante ka bhi kaam hai aapke paas 6 ghante ka bhi kaam hai 8 ghante ka 12 ghante ka as much as you want so joy what is the expected salary package for radiologists in tier 1 city like delhi sir again it depends upon which part of delhi you want to practice like posh affluent societies mein if you want to practice like in south delhi so packages are Relatively less, three to three point five. अभी का चल रहा है, आज की डेट में. Then based upon your experience, तो उसका थोड़ा बहुत उन्नीस बीस फर्क पड़ता है, but. Hi, I'm Dr. Rahul Chawla, and in today's Need podcast, I have a very special friend of mine, Dr. Joyit Pal Biswas, who is a radiologist. He did his MBBS and MD radiology from Sardarjan Hospital in New Delhi. and at present he is practicing as a consultant radiologist in a private firm welcome dr joy sir how are you yeah i am good so joy as we know that radiology branch is known for its work life balance so what do you think uh, does radiology still maintains that work life balance if you compare yourself with your peers in different branches of medicine and surgery in corporate hospitals so sir before i start let me give you a disclaimer uh, the views i will be expressing will be my personal views and any other radiologist may have some other opinions based on his or her own experiences so ye pehla disclaimer hai second uh, yes work life balance it depends because matlab aap bahar nikal rahe ho to uh, aapke paas दो घंटे का भी काम है आपके पास छह घंटे का भी काम है आठ घंटे का बारह घंटे का एज मच एज यू वांट सो इट इज अप टू यू हाउ मच यू कैन हैंडल एंड हाउ मच यू कैन यू नो वर्क टू हैव अ प्रॉपर वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस सो आई एम सीइंग रेडियोलॉजिस्ट हु आर वर्किंग जस्ट फोर आवर्स अ डे एंड आई नो पीपल हु वर्क फॉर ट्वेल्व आवर्स अ डे ऑल्सो सो इट्स अ होल लॉट ऑफ अ स्पेक्ट्रम सो वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस आई फील इन एनी ब्रांच नॉट ओनली इन रेडियोलॉजी तो आप मार्केट में उतना ही काम है जितना आप करना चाहते हो तो वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस इट्स अ पर्सनल पर्सपेक्टिव या एक्चुअली दैट इज क्वाइट ट्रू बट क्या होता है ना कि मेडिसिन सर्जरी में एटलीस्ट इन द बिगनिंग इयर्स व्हेन यू डोंट हैव योर ओन ओपीडी सो यू स्टार्ट ऑफ एज अ जूनियर कंसल्टेंट एसोसिएट कंसल्टेंट अटेंडिंग कंसल्टेंट एंड इट सॉर्ट ऑफ बिकम्स यू नो रेगुलर नाइन टू फाइव जॉब विथ एमरजेंसी कमिंग इन बिटवीन so mm-hmm. and they have a fixed salary and whatever patients they can get in the hospital then accordingly they'll paid extra for that what happens in radiology how is the pay scale determined in radiology so, uh, sir basically broadly if we divide radiology practice to hamare paas teen broad categories hai ek hai purely academics which is there in the medical colleges you can join as an assistant professor soon after your sirship based upon the availability jahan kahi bhi aapko availability hai vacancy hai wahan pe join kar sakte hain next is your corporate sector corporate sector is again divided into hospital setup and diagnostic centers like big chains like mahajan is there and focus is there so aise aise matlab i'm not naming there are plenty so aise chains hai kuch kuch hospital setups like fortis max uh, blk ye sab apna alag hai and then there are this these uh, private diagnostic centers so you can opt for any of the three based upon your preferences agar aapko hospital setup chahiye then you will have to see ki aapko government hospital setup chahiye ya private chahiye and then similarly agar uh, diagnostic centers bhi hai to aapko big corporates ki taraf jana hai ya fir aapko small setup mein apna uh, karna hai dekhna hai matlab there are small setups which have all the modalities also and some mostly setups have uh, ultrasound and x-rays some have cts also if you are wealthy enough you have your own setup starting with your you know matlab family business hai kisi ka radiology mein to you can join that also so joy what is the expected salary package for radiologists in tier 1 city like delhi uh in corporates as well as private centers uh, sir again it depends upon which part of delhi you want to practice like posh affluent societies may if you want to practice like in south delhi so packages are relatively less 
because most of the radiologists want to practice in these ki kind of localities these areas so there is uh, demand is less as compared to the supply of radiologists so you will get comparatively lesser packages in these areas on the contrary if you want to practice in you know uh, nooks and corners of delhi in the peripheries of delhi bordering areas like uh, uttar pradesh uh, haryana you will get a decent package so uh, anywhere for 6 hours i i would quote anywhere around 3 to 3.5 abhi ka chal raha hai aaj ki date mein then based upon your experience based upon where you have done your uh, post graduation from whether you have done or not your sr ship तो उसका थोड़ा बहुत 19 बीस फर्क पड़ता है बट थ्री थ्री पॉइंट फाइव फॉर सिक्स आवर्स इज द बेसिक एंड इफ यू कंपेयर दैट अमाउंट टू टीयर टू एंड टीयर थ्री सिटीज देन आई थिंक इट्स गोइंग टू डबल और ट्रिपल डबल ट्रिपल तो नहीं बट यस देर इज अ सिग्निफिकेंट डिफरेंस सपोज इफ यू आर गेटिंग थ्री हियर फॉर सिक्स आवर्स इन अ टीयर टू और टीयर थ्री यू माइट फेच अप टू फोर पॉइंट फाइव और फाइव मे बी yeah so more or less radiology as a department is chill to work in and usually the colleagues have cordial relationships and like the way we used to have in our residency in medicine so joy what is the difference between work profile of a consultant radiologist in a government hospital versus that working in a corporate hospital or in a private setup so if you are working in a uh, you know government hospital in a academic uh, institution so you are not the ones who will be writing the primary report it is your residents who will be writing and you will just be moderating and signing them off number 2 uh, the corporate hospitals and if you are working in a very big corporate hospital like apollo max you have uh, you know set of some call them as managers so who will be sitting over your head and they will keep a count how many cases you are reporting per hour they will not see if you are reporting a normal case or an easy case or a case with a relatively large number of findings or so they don't know the implications they are no, they are non medicals they are they are barely college pass outs but in private centers it all depends it all depends how how is your rapport with your you know uh, the center person where you are working so if they give you a free hand according to your uh, protocols you can work but if there is somebody you know who is keeping account who is asking you sir patient sir jaldi karo and uh, you know itne patient hai wapas leke ja rahe paise ye wo this that so this creates a very you know negative atmosphere around and what is the liability in radiology what is the difference in the work culture and liability when you work in corporate sector government sector and these private setups so uh, sir till sr ship there is a cocoon in which you work so aap kuch bhi likh dete hai to aapke friends hi hote hai jo dusre taraf ट्रीट करने वाले डॉक्टर्स है जो ऑपरेट करने वाले डॉक्टर्स है वो आपके फ्रेंड्स ही है वो आपको बता देंगे कि भाई ये ठीक नहीं था या ये बहुत अच्छा था तो उस तरीके का फीडबैक इट्स अ बिट रेयर अनलेस यू वर्क इन कॉर्पोरेट हॉस्पिटल सेटअप तो उस तरीके का फीडबैक मैकेनिज्म थोड़ा सा लैकिंग है अभी प्राइवेट सेक्टर में सेक्टर में एंड तो वहां पर यू हैव टू बी ऑन योर टोल्स यू हैव टू बी वेरी एक्यूरेट or at least try to be as accurate as you can be radiologically so usme matlab there is very little scope of uh, error bahar plus there are litigations depending upon the area you practice if you practice in an affluent area like in south delhi so there will be litigations so you have to be ready with your indemnity bond so joy there is a whole debate that is going on around saturation so is there a saturation in radiology sir uh, it has uh, two answers first answer is yes and second answer is no so, yes isliye ki agar aap aise areas mein jayenge jahan pe most of the radiologists want to stay and work like in affluent parts of the city yes there is a saturation but there are parts within delhi also within big cities also where not very people are keen to work not very very people are keen to stay back so in areas mein there is not much of a saturation as of there is one more thing which is tele radiology so how much proportion or percentage of your work you know is divided between uh, you working in a setup versus tele radiology for me i don't uh, do tele reporting i used to do that is for my method the, the center mein mai i am working usi center ke when i am not around i used to report those only those cases i am not associated with any tele radiology portals these portals they are kind of an exploitation for the radiologists they pay a very major amount to the radiologists 
there are plenty of people who are not working for the money who just want to remain in touch who don't have that modality in the center they are working so uh, joy uh, there is a whole debate again regarding ai in radiology although i don't believe uh, it's really uh, happening in near future but then maybe who knows after 15 years or 20 years a lot will change so what do you think what is going to happen with the you know how the ai is coming up in radiology uh, ai i feel uh, it will be humans who will be managing ai and not the ai who will be managing humans so i feel ai is there to help us and not to replace us as you know all the toppers you know they have been taking radiology for a long time although in recent times there has been a resurgence of medicine so do you think in coming years it's going to remain the top branch or soon medicine and surgery are going to uh, supersede it and it depends upon the personal preference and uh, you know while uh, opting a branch you know while preparing for neat i think uh, nobody aims for radiology it's just that rank the people crack ranks and then they think of radiology or they are made to think of radiology by family friends but again it depends upon the personal preference i know many people they are very good rankers they have left radiology for medicine surgery i know one of my junior who has left radiology for a pmrc it also so where does radiology stand when we talk about work related harassment so sir as a when i was opting for radiology many people came to me and told me ki radio le le light branch hai so in the first year of radiology mujhe laga sahi mein people were right it is a very light branch but nothing is light matlab uh, unless you dive deep into it in second year of my residency where we used to work the most i used to curse each and every person who had you know give, put in my mind that radiology is a light branch no it is not a light branch it is as laborious maybe not initially but yes it is as laborious number 1 number 2 uh, regarding workplace harassment it is the people who make the workplace toxic or non toxic so it it all depends but yes radiology in general have lesser toxic people uh, last day i was you know reading a list of you know all the toxic departments in the country not only in a so there are some depart some hospitals who are entirely toxic so a note was written you know all except radiology so <laughs> i had come across such a list also so i could not find any um, uh, any of my known people working anywhere uh, who had experienced such harassment so joy recently there has been addition of sub specialties in radiology as well be it neuro radiology cardio radiology or intervention so how is it going to affect uh, those who have just plain radiology degree versus those who have neuro cardio radiology or intervention everybody finds their own niche in radiology as you grow further in your, in your practice you know what you like and what you don't what you want to practice more and what you want to practice not that much wherever you practice you should have a usp be it uh, you know fetal medicine be it your uh, skeletal radiology and musculoskeletal radiology or your interventions or your neuro radiology whatever you should be you should have some usp while you practice outside this is what i feel and this is going to grow further uh, the time when i did my residency i did 3 years of srship but now i am seeing nobody is doing 3 years of srship everybody is running after uh, you know fellowships which is good also which is good in a way that it is uh, uh, helping the speciality grow into sub specialties okay so uh, is there any risk of you know uh, radiation hazard or the occupation hazard of taking radiology as a branch not at all man not that significant not if radiation exposure is there but very limited amount that too in interventional radiology and there are protocols up to what time you can you know uh, uh, you have to complete the procedure in such and such a such time you have to you, know, you don't have to press the trigger not trigger uh, yeah this your foot pedal unnecessarily so yes Uh, radiation exposure is there but then radi- uh, radiation protective equipments and measure measures are also there so it is not that much it is not very significant if you want to practice interventional radiology also uh, it it won't be that harmful so there is a question that must be in your mind as well when you were opting for a branch uh, as you rightly pointed out that students do not really consider taking radiology as a branch until they crack the exam with a really good rank and they realize that they could get radiology 
now everyone you know most of us would want to have medicine or surgery as a branch okay and once they fetch a good rank they decide to go for radiology so as per your opinion who are the people who must go to radiology and those who must stay away from radiology if they have passion for medicine and surgery if somebody is really passionate about any branch be it medicine surgery obs and gynae pediatrics any branch they should stay back if like if a person is like me who was never loyal to a subject but yes i always wanted to be a clinician i always wanted to be uh, you know somewhere around the world taking rounds some i i you know fickled around medicine and surgery so people like me are the ideal candidates who should opt for radiology who are not very loyal for a branch so joy while we were growing up and we were preparing for medical entrance examinations we used to imagine ourselves as you know as a doctor seeing patients in the opd and that was the image we used to have of a doctor so now uh, do you miss that action in radiology not interacting with patients not seeing the patients in opd or in the emergency uh sir uh, like you have rightly pointed out why i i am not from neat uh, neat wala time se nahi hu i am from aipmt time so there was this aipmt ka brochure which had surgeons printed over its brochure so i had always aspired to become a surgeon just by that brochure only uh but yes i do not miss patient interaction one because i do ultrasounds on a daily basis so it is not that i miss that interaction but yes limited interaction in today's world of violence against the medicos so i feel the branches like uh, you know radiology and for that matter pathology and microbiology also they are in a way good for your own protection now joy to be very frank the biggest motive of taking radiology for any person is mainly you know the monetary benefit which you have the edge which you have over other branches because in the initial part of your career you are very well settled when you take radiology obviously after a decade or two decades the medicine surgery sub specialties they have huge growth but in your formative years there is no other branch that may give you that amount of money that radiology gives so what do you think with the kind of money which you are getting in your formative years is it possible for you to start your own setup in radiology in maybe 5 years or even maybe 10 years of your practice when you step out of medical college yes radiology pays you well for the initial 5 years or if you are in a tier 2 tier 3 city maybe for the initial 10 years but there is a plateau and if you want to breach that plateau if you want to move ahead you have to have your own setup that is for sure and if you use your money wisely if you invest judiciously yes in 5 years time you can have your own center maybe not with an mri scanner but with a very good ultrasound scanner and a x-ray or in best case scenario maybe a ct scan also yeah i really hope joy you get your own center soon not maybe 5 years maybe 2 or 3 years and uh, then we'll send you cases and we'll sort of take some benefit out of it as well <laughs> and i really wish that you have a great career and i hope the students would get some benefit out of the discussion we had about taking radiology as a branch i really thank you for your time thanks a lot for coming thank you so much sir thank you for having me thank you